welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm going to be doing this super smoky halo blue eye I absolutely love how this look turned out I was just feeling really inspired to play with some colors although this isn't like super colorful but it is some color I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone and use more colors because I'm always in the neutral family so I really really love how this look turned out I hope you do too and if you want to see how to get this look then please keep watching the first thing that I'm going to be doing is priming my eyelids. If you watch my videos, you know this is not a surprise. This is the first thing that I always do. I have oily eyelids, so I can never skip this step. If you have oily eyelids and you feel like your eye makeup never comes out looking good, try making sure that you're always priming your eyelids. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm going to blend that in, and then I'm going to set it with some powder to make sure that it doesn't crease. As a transition shade, I'm going to be going in with Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee. This is not a surprise either. I am so routine. I seriously need to switch up my favorite products because they're just holy grail to me and I use them all the time. Anyways, I'm just going to be putting that into my crease. Not in a very specific motion, just making sure that my crease has some color before I go in with the darker shades. The next color I'm going to be using is this one by Morphe. This is in the shade Toasted Hazelnut, which is just a very light taupey color. I'm going to be putting that on top of the creme brulee that I just applied. As you can tell, it did give me some color, which is what I wanted, but not too much. So I'm going to be putting this one on top of the creme brulee, like I mentioned, and I'm just going to be putting that all pretty much in windshield wiper motions. Nothing too crazy here, but just making sure that I get as much color on there to really help it build to the next colors that I'll be using. The next color is by Ofra Cosmetics and this is in the shade Iron. I really like this gray. It's just like a very medium tone gray. It's not extremely dark but it's not super light either. I'm going to be focusing that on my outer V. As you can tell I'm not really going to put the product anywhere else right now but I'm just going to make sure it's really focused on the outer corners and just creating a V motion with my brush and really blending and buffing that in. Once the outer corner looks the way I want it to, I'm going to take some of that gray and I'm going to put it on my inner corner. Now that's what's going to help me create that halo eye. If I do to the outer corner what I'm doing to the inner corner and vice versa, it's just going to pretty much create that wraparound effect. And then I'm going to take the both shadows and connect them up at the top, leaving the center of the eyelid completely blank. Because that's then going to be filled with a different color later on. Taking this eyeshadow by Morphe in the shade Give Me Space. Now this gray is more of a charcoal gray. It's a little bit deeper than the one that I've been using. But with this gray, what I'm going to do is pretty much just mirror what I've been doing with the other eyeshadow. So I'm going to cover the inner corner, the outer corner, and up at the top connect. I'm just doing the same exact thing, just with a different color. It's really important that you're building these colors. I can't stress that enough. You want to go from lightest to darkest. You don't really want to go from a light shade to a dark shade. That's really just going to make your blending a lot, a lot more difficult. So this is what I'm doing here, just really building the color. Once I have it set where I want it, I'm going to take a different brush, and which is the Morphe M505, which I love so much. I've talked about it in previous videos. I'm going to take that and pretty much just blend the color out and really diffuse it. I know I look extremely crazy right now, but trust me, it's going to come together, girl. Taking this beautiful eyeshadow, which is pretty much the star of the show. This is by ColourPop, and this is in the shade Crinkle. Now, this is a really beautiful, like, turquoise gray sparkly I don't know how to describe it it's absolutely beautiful you can see it for what it is right here I'm going to take it and dab it with my finger right into the center of the eye now I'm going to put it here because this is a halo eye and you want the most eye-catching eyeshadow that you possibly have or any star of the show of your look that you're doing you want that to be spank in the center of your eyelid because that's what's gonna call the most attention with the halo eye now once I have that, I'm going to take some of the um, Morphe Give Me Space again, which is the dark char charcoal -y color that I used, and I'm going to put it on the inner and the outer corners again and just finish building that off because with all the blending that I did earlier, it kind of took it away. But this time, I'm going to make sure I wrap that around the color that I used in the center. Yeah. 
To take that center color to the next level, honey, I am going to be taking a flat shader brush, some Fix Plus on my brush, and that same eyeshadow, and just packing it right in the center of my lid just to make it a lot more vibrant and just more of a bang. You know what I mean? The next thing I'm going to do after that is just going to take a baby wipe or a makeup wipe or any wipe that you have and I'm going to just clean up the fallout because there's going to be a lot of fallout from this look from all the blending and the glitter and the colors. You want to make sure you're cleaning all that off before you go in with your face products. Today I'm totally going to be skipping liquid liner and I'm jumping straight into lashes. I'm doing that off camera but I'm wearing the Salon Perfect lashes that you can find at Walmart. And these are the style 614. They're really hard to find, but if you get lucky, you can definitely find them at Walmart. For foundation today, I'm going to be using my EX1 foundation in the shade F3. I haven't used this foundation in a while, so I figured it was time to break it back out. I love the coverage this foundation has. It's not extremely full coverage, but it's not a light coverage either. It's definitely a perfect happy medium coverage, which works for me, and I definitely like it in the summer. It's very light and airy. And then for concealer, I'm going to be taking that same concealer I use as a primer, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And then I'm going to be buffing that all out with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I love it so much. I definitely can easily tell you guys that I love this more than the original Beauty Blender. I pick this up way more. I just, I love it. I just love it so much. And it's a fraction of the cost. To even out the rest of my face so it's not super white just underneath my eyes, I'm going to be taking that same concealer and putting it on the bridge of my nose and my chin and my forehead. And to bake today, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I love this powder, guys. I have a video on it. Honestly, it's just an amazing product. I alternate between this, the RCMA, and the Airspun Cody Powder. I just love them all so much. I'm doing my brows off camera and then I'm going to be taking off the bakage once I've let it sit there for a while. To contour today, I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Contour Kit, and I'm going to be taking these two shades and just doing a very light contour. If you guys would like a full in-depth tutorial of how I contour and highlight my face, please let me know, and I'll be more than happy to do that. I'm just going to be running some eyeliner from Wet n Wild in the shade Charcoal, which is just a light gray. I'm just going to run that on my waterline just to really give this look a little bit more smokiness. And then to just finish smoking it off on the lower lash line area, I'm taking some of that charcoal that I used on the lid, and I'm going to use that shadow and just really buff that into my lower lash line area. Taking that pretty blue color that I used on the center of my lid, I'm going to take some of that and just run it on the lower lash line area just to give it a little bit more sparkle, and then just finish blending that out. I'm going to be taking some of my favorite lower lash mascara, which is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator, and just running a couple coats of that on my lower lashes. For blush today, I'm going to be using Amaretto from the Becca Jaclyn Hill Face Collection palette. I absolutely love this shade. It's just the perfect neutral tone blush that seriously goes with any eye look that you're doing. Since we all know here, I am not about to skip highlighter. I'm going to be going in with a sleek makeup solstice palette. Um, with this highlighter, which I really do not know the name of, but you bet your mother, it will be down in the description box. I'm going to be putting that on my cheekbones and down on the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow. And if you just look at it, it's like, bam, it is just in your face. It is just super shiny and glowy and exactly what I want. I'm also going to put some of that on the inner corners to make them pop. To finish off this look for lips, I'm doing Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mannequin, which is just a very pale nude shade and I'm going to top that off with some lip gloss from Lorac in the shade CEO. This has been my go-to lip for the past like two, three weeks now. Absolutely love it. That guys pretty much completes this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!